Hello! Uh, we're back again for another night of map making. Uh, tonight I'm going to do a quick map of a uh, boat. Uh, it seems Spelljammer came out, everyone's real excited about boats. So let's show how I do one in Ark and Forge. Though that being said, I'm going to try out the new beta for Ark and Forge. Uh, I don't know it yet. I've played around a tiny bit, so it might take me a little bit nor longer than normal. But, uh, but we'll learn the new layout together. So we are starting out. Uh, so I, I had a request for uh, a three-mast frigate. And uh, I'm going to base that on uh, the Galleon uh, in Starborn. I don't know what that the equivalent would be in Spelljammer, but I always, I, I, I like to cheat. I like doing stuff for my my system so uh let's jump in and learn this all right so that's layers that's selection map building here we go purchase content arc and forge fantasy textures actually let's start out with a line we'll just do a thin light wood line and so for my, let's look it up. A galleon is 130 long and 30 wide. So that's pretty long. And so 130 would be, uh, oh, I'm so bad at this. So it'd be 25. times five, so what am I thinking of? Oh, I'm so bad at this. Okay, so it's five foot, so 20, that's 100. 10, 20, 30, all right. Well, you just saw, everyone saw why I became an artist and not a mathematician. All right, so there we go. We got 30 across, 130 that, that way. We're going to now textures, wood. Uh, let's make this a newer ship. I'm going to do it's right about there. And. Control W because I'd like to do. Uh, oh, oh, my hotkeys aren't set up in this. So I click that, click line, line straight. All right, so we go there, there, there. That goes there. I did not tell it to add corners. So how do we add corners in this? Ah, add corners. needs to be stretched out to there and now we can delete these or I can just move that out to be the front I know that there's a way to taper that but we'll figure that out later okay so that looks pretty blocky but there's a way to fix it I'm just gonna grab here You just tap it in the middle. I hold control so that way they're all on the same. Uh, I know that they're sort of lining up in the right place. All right, so the front looks really good. 
this looks a little wonky. Let's just kind of have to. So there we go. We got a layout of a ship. Got that. We'll go to tile, tile brush, tile polygon. And this you just set down your points. Polygon builds itself. There we go, and we instantly have the layout of a ship. So let's see, do we have a mast in here? Oh, a mast with rope. So now if I would... Oh, well, look at that. They already have front mass, so we don't even have to use that thing. Arc and Forge always has everything I need. Okay, almost always has everything I need. There you go, look at that. That looks great. Back it up to there. Oh, I wonder if they have a sail. That would be even better. Solar sails, what? Oh my gosh, look at that. That is too cool. Oh, I got a bunch of sails. Right, drop down the front sails. Be a little bit bigger so that rigging gets out to the right spots. Middle sail. Always holding down control that way uh, when you turn it, that way it sort of locks in with. The squares goes in 45 degree angles. I wish that sail was just a little bit bigger. Oh, I see this probably goes forward to there to the front mast. And then back sails. Let's see if it has a crow's nest. Look at that. Bigger, a little bit smaller for the front end. And now we go back and need that mast. Pasting it here. I don't feel that that seal would be that far back. Uh, but here's the artistic license. It's not going to look as good unless we have a secondary deck here and that seal's going to hide it. Alright, so now we need. Stairs. I, 
I have a feeling that they're going to have ship stairs. Oh, I need to turn the sounds off of this beta. Copied and pasted those stairs. And now I'm going to, I'm selecting the bottom here, going to tile polygon. And I know we already did this, but I'm doing this for a reason. Because I am hoping that I can oh put a shadow underneath it. Nope, that's not what I need. I need black. No, the color black. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna go to uh, line, note, tile, tile brush. I do love this new setup. Everything all in one place. And I want a soft brush. What I'm going to do is do that. And then uh, go over to the layering. Move to top. Move to top and move to top. And there you go, we got a second layer there. Let's go back to this railing. Oh, this is a really good vanilla brown ale that I'm having tonight. You can't make a pirate ship without having some ale, it's just a rule. I didn't make it, just following it. Alright, I like that railing, but I do not like the drop shadow. See how easy this is. Manipulation. Nice standalone light. Where do I go and change this? Note, replace, tile, object. It's just standalone light. Manipulation. Oh, we click that, then we go to manipulation. Here we go. Color options, blocking, line content, effects. Drop shadow off. Very nice. You know, I feel like those stairs are the wrong stairs. It looks like it's going down instead of coming from the deck up. Is that the same ones? Nope, those are different. Where do we want? That's the one we want. We only need a railing on one side. down that lines up perfectly okay we want that to be layering on terrain level I'll tell you one thing that this grid settings where are we at that grid is way too dark there we go that's much better Alright, so then we control C, control V. Let's see how easy it is to. Okay, so we clicked it. Layering tools, manipulation, flip horizontal, and there you go. Exact staircase the other direction. Now we need. 
to here. Let's see if they got, if I can spell a wheel. Chandelier wheel. Small wheels. Ship wheel platform. looking good so far. Let's return to the base folder. I think I've got somewhere tokens, buildings. I know I built, there we go, some gratings that are huge. Okay. So these can go down for your cargo hold. Before I copy and paste it, let's try to get it to match that. Color options. I'm going to try to get it to match this orange around it. that. Right, so now we got two cargo holds. It's a pretty big ship. And the last thing we're going to do is mark and forge. We don't need lines, textures. Now we're going to do water. Deep water texture. To layering, move to the bottom. Oh, and the water is already flowing. So great. Effects animation. There we go. Got a ship in just a couple minutes. Can I click save? Can I say frigate. And we're good to go. Well, alright. I say good to go. Do one more thing. Where is my space? Because we actually want this for spell jammer, right? No, that's too dark. I like something nice and fancy. There we go. Layering. Nope. Manipulation. Tiled content. And I like to zoom way in so that way it doesn't look too textured or too uh, tiled. You lose the pattern like this. Now we move to bottom. Oh, I moved it right. Now we move that one to bottom. And there you go. Super simple. Three mast frigate ready to go. You know, I think if I'm going to put this up on the Patreon, I'm going to. Uh, you know, do the couple different le levels. That way, you know, you can have a ship-to-ship -ship combat. And uh, and you're good to go. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, leave a comment. Uh, subscribe if you like. And uh, also down below, I'm going to post uh, the coupon code if you would like to get Ark and Forge for yourself and try out the new awesome beta. And uh, 
you know, as always, keep adventuring.